in a groove, tuxedo, the right answer. $500 in the movie Life is Beautiful. What is the translation of Buongiorno, Prince of Basement? Wake up, little one. Hello, princess. Good night, boss. To your health, Scott. D, hello, princess. Hello, princess, the right answer for $500. For $1,000, what medical condition may be treated by breathing in and out of a paper bag? Pneumonia, bronchitis, meningitis, hyperventilation. C. Right answer again for $1,000. Which of the following instruments is used to measure atmospheric pressure? Weather vane, barometer, sundial, hourglass? B, barometer. Final answer? Yes. Barometer, the right answer for $2,000. Here it comes now for $4,000. In 1990, which TV star offended people with our performance of the national anthem at a major league baseball game. Was it Fran Drescher, Joan Rivers, Roseanne, Shannon Dorrit? It was Roseanne, C. Final? Yes. Yes, it was Roseanne, she did it. $8,000. What current magazine shares its name with a 19th century novel by William Thackeray, Vanity Fair, Harper's Bazaar, Mademoiselle, Country Living. somebody or we can narrow it down by two. I'd like to phone a friend. Who do you want to call? We, we have a question for you. All right. Uh, Julia's going for $8,000 right now. She's going to come on the line, read the question, the four answers. One of them is the right answer, okay? All righty. All right, Julia, it's all yours. You've got 30 seconds to make start now. What current magazine shares its name with a 19th century novel by William Thackeray? Vanity Fair, Harper's Bazaar, Mademoiselle, or Country Living? Oh. Give, give me those. Give me those again. Vanity Fair, Harper's Bazaar, 
Mademoiselle or country living? Ten seconds. Okay, I would I would go with Harper's Bazaar, but I'm not definitely sure on that. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, Rich. All right. <laughs> Computer, take away two of the wrong answers, okay? Leaving one wrong answer and the correct one. Well, it's still there. So is Vanity Fair. Do you have any thoughts on it? Actually, I do. thinking torn I was thinking a and rich said B and now I'm trying to rationalize why he's right First instinct was Vanity Fair, and as we all know, Rich said Harper's Bazaar. He thought it was Harper's Bazaar. The correct answer was Vanity Fair. But look, $4,000 is a nice piece of change. I hope I didn't rattle you too much. Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Good luck. Well, as we tell our contestants every day, you know, first impressions are important. $4,000 is a lot of money, so it seems to me Julia finally did the right thing. Anyway, we still have nine more contestants ready to go, so here's the next pass to think a question. Here it comes. Put these actresses in the order of their birth, starting with the earliest. Julia Roberts, Christina Ricci, Kate Winslet, Angela Bassett. Okay, everybody, time's up. Let's see the answer in the correct order. Starting with the earliest, Angela Bassett, and then Julia, Kate Winslet, and Christina Ricci. That's the right order. Who got it at the fastest time? The winner, oh Debbie Eldridge. Oh Congratulations. Great to have another woman in defeat. We'll be right back in a moment. from Pizza Hut is back. It's toppings on top of toppings with no outer crust to fence them in. Try the worst recipe or create your own. But hurry, the edge won't be around much longer. The Edge Pizza from Pizza Hut, another one of the best pizzas under one roof. It's one of the most destructive forces on the planet, and now it's coming after your home. But New Thompson's paint will stop it every day, every season, all year long. New Thompson's house and trim paint, guaranteed for life. It's the paint that never takes a day off. Do I dare disturb the universe? In a minute, there is time for decisions and revisions which a minute will reverse. Should I, after tea and cakes and ices, have the strength to force the moment to its crisis? I have seen the eternal footman hold my coat and snicker, and in short, So 
long enough. What was the name of the first? to play for a million. Goldpocket.com. Log on to register. It's free. Yeah! Eight talented guys all want one thing, but only five will make the band. It's gonna be a lot of rough feelings. And the competition's a killer. Oh, you might not like me after. Friday, you'll see what finally crushes the dream for one of them. You can see it in his eyes that he didn't want to leave. All new, all summer, making the band. Friday on ABC. Every Hyundai comes with the freedom of America's best warranty. So for the next 10 years, instead of worrying about your car, worry about other things, like the SPF of your sunscreen. The Sonata from Hyundai. difference between seeing the world and watching it on TV. Get out there. Royal Caribbean. Union Cycling 2000, Sunday morning at 9 on 6ABC. Debbie Elrich here from Opelika, Alabama. Opelika, Alabama. Where is Opelika like? Um, it's in eastern Alabama. It's right next to Auburn. It's very close to Columbus, Georgia. Mm -hmm. Small town. Small town right on the border there, huh? Close to the border. Good. And uh, let's see, your husband Steve is uh, right behind you there. Hey, Steve, how you good doing? Good sir. Doing good, you? Nice to have you here. I'm hanging up on my fingertips <laughs> if you want to know the truth. Um, so, Debbie, you've got an unusual story. You've got, uh, mm -hmm. you've got a uh, degree in history at I Auburn. Did. Then you went back and got a master's. You, you, you lost your job. You were working in a... Yes. Tell me about it. Well, I was working in a factory in Opelika, and we're going through some hard times, and factory had to lay off about 200 workers and unfortunately I was one of the 200 mm -hmm. so we really need money but now the government <laughs> but you're back now at, at school um, I'm taking one class actually I was supposed to have a final tonight at AUM Auburn University mm -hmm. Montgomery they wanted me to make sure I said Montgomery um, taking paralegal classes and I'm hoping that the government anybody official listening please will pay for future classes. Mm -hmm. um, Sometimes the they do that, I, as I understand. Sometimes they do. I'm hoping they will in this case. Yeah, well, you certainly have gotten your share of classes in at Auburn, huh? Mm hmm I have. Well, let's see if we can help you tonight, OK? You know about the rules. You know about the lifeline, 50-50. Ask the audience. It's all a friend. It's all here for you. So if you're ready, Debbie, let's go to work. Let's all play right. Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. If you can't find your seat in a Broadway theater, who should you ask for help? Usher, Caddy, FBI, Bernadette Peters. <laughs> well, we've never been to Broadway, but I believe I would go with an Usher A. Yes, you would.